Week two is over. We've entered week three. But before we get there, let's take a look at things around the league for week two of the NFL. Starting with scores. The Eagles win a close game over the Redskins, 21-24. Carson Wentz had 212 yards and a touchdown. Meanwhile, the ground game also got some love with two touchdowns, one from Miles Sanders and the other from DeLance Turner. The Panthers maul the Giants 35-17. Cam Newton had a big day with three touchdowns and 281 yards in the victory. The Dallas Cowboys get the comeback win over the New Orleans Saints 20-17. They were down 10-6 at halftime, but in the fourth quarter they rattled off 14 points. Jalen Smith interception of rookie QB CJ Armstrong gave the boys the key they needed to victory in this one. The Bills win an offensive shootout against the Jets 35-28. Josh Allen had five touchdowns on the day and 258 yards as well. That helped them to victory in New York. The Falcons soar over the Buccaneers 21-9. Matt Ryan's high-flying passing attack ended the day with three touchdowns and 289 yards. The Patriots outlast the Dolphins 42-20. Dolphins hung around as long as they could, but in the third and fourth quarter, the Patriots took over. Brady, Tom Brady, say his whole name, Tom Brady, threw four touchdown passes, one being to rookie tight end Dimitri Green. That was the first of his career. The Bengals win a close one at home against the Colts, 31-28. to Despite 14 points from the Colts in the fourth quarter, it was not enough. Joe Mixon had a huge day on the ground with 136 yards and a touchdown to boot. Tennessee wins in Pittsburgh against the Steelers 28-13. Marcus Mariota finished the day with 242 yards and two touchdowns. Meanwhile, the rookie running back Devontae Royster also helped out on the ground with his 84 yards. No touchdowns for him, but 84 yards goes a long way to helping your quarterback. The Packers get an early season division win over the Vikings 31-20. to Aaron Rodgers threw two interceptions, but he offset those with three touchdowns. More touchdowns to interception ratio, probably a good way to help win your ball game. And in this case, it was good enough for the Packers to get the win. The Chargers shock the Chiefs in overtime at home 37-31. Patrick Mahomes threw four touchdown passes, but those were not enough to elevate the Chiefs to victory in Los Angeles. Arizona with back-to-back -back wins, this one 24-17 over the Seahawks. Kyler Murray's two touchdowns in the air were a big factor despite throwing for only 171 yards. The Bears survive at home with a 31-28 win over the Lions. Matthew Stafford threw four touchdown passes, but Mitchell Trubisky countered with three of his own, two of those being to Allen Robinson. The Broncos hold off the Raiders 28-21 in Nathan Russell's first game at Mile High Stadium. Russell, the rookie, threw for 263 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. Always good to come into your first game at home and impress the fans with your play and get a win as well. So congratulations to Russell on that accomplishment. The 49ers win at home in overtime against the Los Angeles Rams, 33-27. to Dante Pettis had a huge day, 108 yards receiving and two touchdowns. For that matter, another fun fact for you, San Francisco had two 100-plus yard receivers. Dante Pettis, who had 108, and running back Te Tevin Coleman, who had 104 yards as well. In the Monday night contest, we saw our Ravens not break at home, winning against the Texans 24-22. Game came down to the very last drive, very last play. Clock was on triple zeros. The Texans needed a two-point conversion to get the win. They failed, and the Ravens end up winning and moving to 2-0 on the season. Justice Hill had two touchdowns, one on the ground and one through the air receiving as well. They wanted to get him involved in this one. They definitely did their part getting Hill involved. And some would say he's taking his next step towards stardom in the league. Finally, last game for you on the list, the Thursday night contest between the Browns and the Jaguars. Browns get the win by 10 points at home, 28-18 over the Jaguars. 
Baker Mayfield had four touchdowns and 364 passing yards. Meanwhile, rookie quarterback Demetrius Maddox got his first two career touchdown passes, as well as 247 yards through the air. Let's go take a look at standings only two weeks in, but it's always good to do so nonetheless, starting with the AFC North. The Ravens and Browns are both 2-0, and oh. the Bengals 1-1, one and, one, and the Steelers are 0-2 oh in last place in the North. In the AFC South, three teams tied for first place, Jaguars, Titans, and Colts at 1-1. One and one. Meanwhile, the Texans are in last place at 0-2. Oh to the AFC East now, Patriots, that's more like it. You've seen them on top. They're on top of the division now, early 2-0. Oh. Meanwhile, the Bills and Jets are 1-1. One one. Dolphins bring up the rear, 0-2. Oh In the AFC West, another three stack of teams tied for first place. Broncos, Raiders, and Chargers all 1-1, one and one. meanwhile the Chiefs surprisingly are 0-2. Oh Time to go over to the NFC now, starting with the North. The Packers and Bears both 2-0 oh in the North. The Lions and Vikings are 0-2, oh both tied for third and last place, we'll say, in the division. Over to the NFC South now, Falcons and Panthers on top at 2-0, oh, both of them. Buccaneers are 1-1 one one in third place, and the Saints are 0-2 oh in last. NFC East, how about them Cowboys? Still on top, 2-0 and oh to start the year in first place. Eagles 1-1, one and one. Giants and Redskins both 0-2. Oh and, and finally, taking a look at the NFC West now. 49ers and Cardinals top of the division, 2-0 and oh respectively. Seahawks are 1-1. One while the Rams are in last place at 0 and 2 in the division. Time to see who took home the hardware this week for week two players of the week. Starting with the AFC, Baker Mayfield gets the offensive award. His 364 passing yards and four touchdowns definitely did the trick. Meanwhile, for defense, that's Desmond King the second, the third year cornerback out of Iowa, had seven tackles, one interception, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery in the overtime win in their game. Meanwhile, in the NFC, it's Matthew Stafford taking home the offensive award, 401 yards passing and three touchdowns. He was sacked four times, but as long as you get the win, doesn't really matter now, does it? For the defensive side, Cam Jordan of the Saints gets the award. Six tackles and four sacks, count them, four sacks for him gets him the award this week. Congratulations to the week two winners of both the AFC and NFC players of the week. And finally, let's get a preview of the next contest for our Ravens. We will see them next on Sunday night, taking on the 0-2 Kansas City Chiefs at m and Bank Stadium. This is a rematch of last year's AFC Championship, which the Ravens did win to go to the Super Bowl. Chiefs are always a tough team to play against. Despite their record, I think they're going to surprise a lot of people, especially in this game. They have, of course, Patrick Mahomes to look out for. He has five touchdowns so far on the year. One interception and 585 yards passing. Meanwhile, Chris Jones, the defensive tackle. Three tackles, one forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. He also has blocked a kick so far on the year. And finally, Travis Kelsey, one of Mahomes' favorite targets. 12 catches, 150 yards, and two touchdowns receiving on the year so far. This game, I think, is going to be a hotly contested game. Probably an offensive one, if if the fans have their way. Probably an offensive shootout. I'm hoping for a more defensive-oriented game, but we will see when Sunday night rolls around. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for me for this video. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for watching and listening. I stream on Twitch and it's Monday, Monday, Tuesday, and sometimes Saturdays. Still working on the schedule for everything else going on, trying to figure out and fit it into everything. But thank you guys for watching and listening. I appreciate you so, so much. I hope that I'm providing some sort of entertainment for you through these difficult times. We'll get through it together. And if I can bring you some sports content, that's what I'm here for. Until next time, you guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share the video, and as always, 
keep on shining, and keep on grinding. I will see you all in the next one.